Okay, so we are going now into evaluate expressions containing grouping symbols. Well, what do we mean by grouping symbols? So let me write the, the topic here. Evaluate expressions. Okay, and what are expressions? We'll be seeing that too. Containing grouping symbols. Okay, uh, this is nothing new except that we are combining now other topics from much of what we have gotten so we'll be going with this with this topic well what are the grouping symbols well recall parentheses parentheses which are people call it brackets um, they also identify this as brackets they call this parentheses they call this brackets so long as you have the idea that, that it means a particular information, then we have absolute value symbols. And these are means the lines which are vertically upwards and fraction bars, which means when you have a number on top and another number at the bottom are called grouping symbols. Okay, so this means fraction. When, evaluate, when evaluating such expressions, we must perform all calculations within parentheses and other grouping symbols first. Remember, we must also abide by P, E, M, D, E, S, PEMDAS. So we will not move away from PEMDAS. We're just putting the symbols now into play or in these operations which we will be doing. Okay, that's all. So let's start with some examples. So we will be evaluating. So if I tell you evaluate and I give you a problem, negative 10 plus 2, open bracket, negative 6 plus 3, a dot which means times in this case, or let me use asterisk, okay, um, 4, close bracket. This is where we have grouping symbol, grouping symbols, okay. So we will begin first of all by evaluating the, the expression, this piece here, okay? We're not getting rid of this piece. We're just working with this piece because we are going by PEMDAS also, which means parentheses or in this case, brackets means the same thing, okay? So when we do that now, we concentrate only on this piece, okay? Now let's go inside of that now and see what then applies. Well, we need to recall also PEMDAS rules still apply within the, the, the brackets or the parentheses. So, when we look in here, we have a negative 6 plus 3 times 4. Aha, uh -huh, times. So, does the addition come first or there's multiplication? When, according to PEMDAS, it's supposed to be parentheses, exponent, multiplication. So, therefore, we need to do this multiplication first of all, which is inside of the, of the brackets. So, we come down and we work that piece here. So bring down the negative 6, nothing happens with negative 6, but we say 3 times 4, which will then give us 12, close bracket. Bring down the rest of information without doing much to them, except just bring it down to the other step. Okay, so let me zoom in there a little bit. Okay, so now we're still within the parentheses. Well, we have addition inside of the parentheses, so we must perform that. So bring down the 10, bring down the plus 2, and then we say negative 6 plus 12. But well, that is going to give us negative 6, I mean positive 6. You don't have to write the, the, the positive, that is understood. So if you just wrote 6, that, that is also correct. Alright? Now, we go, we got rid of this piece now. We, we have a number bracket or parenthesis a next number this symbol here means multiplication so therefore we must do now this multiplication so we bring down the negative 10 and we say 2 times 6 which will then give us 12 equals and now we can perform the addition of two different um, values okay so we have negative 10 plus 12 which will then give us 2 which means keeping the sign of the largest absolute value now remember, when you have this, work whatever is inside. Don't worry about the inside. The, the side. You start from the left, 
going towards your, your, your right inside of the brackets then once you are finished with this you start from your left going towards the left hand side again but in this case this time comes before this 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 operation so let's go to our next problem my next problem goes as follows it states evaluate and when we evaluate we're going to have a number say um 20 um, 40 minus 2 um brackets say negative 3 plus 4 minus 7 brackets squared bigger bra brackets right so i mean parentheses and brackets same concept so the how are we going to work this out okay let me adjust our table there recall pemdas again so write down mr pemdas on the side p e m d a s do we have any parentheses yes we do we have parentheses here and we have brackets outside so that means that we need to work with this piece here first of all so when we look at this information inside we apply pemdas again over so when we apply pemdas inside of the brackets we notice that there is a parenthesis with an exponent so therefore we must work whatever is in the parenthesis inside so let us bring down what what we are not touching inside of the brackets we're not touching the negative three so just bring the plus sign we will be working with the four and the negative seven close bracket squared big bracket now four take away seven will give us negative three notice all the rest it just comes down nothing is affected okay but we still have our big brackets so now we go back to this negative 3 squared so instead of the brackets again negative 3 and this is an exponent parenthesis exponent so when we say negative 3 times negative 3 that will give us positive 9 close bracket minus 2 and 40 so we are at this point we still cannot come outside we should still stay within the the brackets or the parentheses so now we do whatever operation is inside of the brackets which is negative 3 plus 9 and negative 3 plus 9 will give us positive 6 so now we end up with positive 6 here and we bring down the negative 2 40 equals so notice what happened here we had to work whatever is inside here despite we have multiplication here this comes first because this is in the parentheses or brackets so now we say negative 2 times 6 because this is multiplication this is just subtraction so 2 times 6 will give us 12 and we just bring the negative here and 40 so now we have 40 take away 12 and that will give us 28 and positive 28 and that's your solution okay so let's go over this problem we got a problem like this and we must work whatever is in the parentheses or brackets first so when we look inside of the brackets we notice that there's a parenthesis inside so we must go inside of that piece there so we work with 4 take away 7 which gives us negative 3 bring down the square sign keep it within the bracket bring down all the rest negative 3 squared will give us positive 9 and we bring down the negative 3 brackets again we work whatever is inside and that gives us positive 6 and 2 times 6 will give us 12 bring on the negative bring on the 40 40 take away 12 will give us positive 28 okay so now we go to some other problems okay so our next problem will be as follows we have the same situation except we are putting multiple operations together okay this you will be I get confused so let me use a clean sheet and the instruction is to evaluate evaluation simply means go ahead and solve it work it out get a solution all right so i'm going to give you now that i have negative open bracket all right and i have here um two take away next parenthesis there and i say three to the fourth plus 55 over 
negative 5 bracket and the big bracket what's the solution to that well because you see the problem big doesn't mean it is complicated just take it piece by piece what do we do first of all put your PEMDAS okay and this will help you recall the rules who should you work first it says parenthesis so we have here parenthesis within parenthesis so it means that we must work with this piece inside so when we look inside we have 3 to the fourth plus square um, 55 over negative 5 which is the division so we have exponent here we have division here so we go back to mr pemdas after parentheses within the parentheses which we got here we have exponent okay this exponent so exponent needs to be done first not this division so let's take it one piece at a time so we come down here and we say 3 squared i mean 3 to the fourth which means 3 times 3 9 times 3 27 times 3 81 so this gives us 81 okay and because we get 81 now we bring down this next piece here plus 55 over 35 close bracket big parentheses minus 2 bracket negative okay now you could have worked this out right away but i'm showing you piece by piece according to, to pemdas so we look at this division now because this addition so the division must come first before the addition so therefore we see 55 divided by negative 5 that will give us negative 11 so we put here for this piece negative 11 the 81 we open close minus 2 brackets brackets okay so now we look at the parentheses still it this parenthesis that we have a mathematical operation inside we have 81 take away 11 which is then 70 take away 2 but remember the brackets here and the negative at the front that cannot be disregarded and now we'll say 2 take away 70 which will give us negative 68 bracket minus equals and a negative and a negative will give us then a positive which will then give us 68 as a solution you don't have to write the, the plus sign that is understood so let's go over this problem here again in this problem we had a bracket parenthesis exponent division so when we look zoom into this piece of the problem we then look inside and there's a next bracket and within the bracket we have the exponent so this must come first so when we do the, the, the exponent, we got 81, and we bring out the 55 over negative 5. This is now division before addition. So we do that division, we got negative 55, I mean neg negative 11. So 81 take away 11 give us 70. Now we work with whatever the big brackets, and we have 2 take away 70, which is negative 68. But this negative changes back to a positive, and that's how we work that one there so we're going to our next one evaluate now because we are doing evaluation of values doesn't mean that we will always be getting whole numbers we, we may also get fractions so let's see our problem so just be aware of it all right so now let's say we have negative 30 plus um 3 times negative 4 close bracket okay so how do we work that and that out well don't worry about it we are working with this one here piece by piece so this is over and let's say we have there um 14 take away um say three um, we put a negative let's put a negative inside so we make it look a bit more complicated square now don't get stressed out let's zoom into this a little bit more so we can see what the problem reads the problem reads as follows negative 30 plus 3 times negative 4 over 14 take away the square no, negative 3 squared so we need to work with what we need to work first of all so to evaluate such expression about in here, 
the expression can be written over again differently all right so this means remember it means multiplication this you could explain it as saying negative three times negative three fraction bars are grouping symbols which means this one here these are grouping symbol met, um, sign that we saw so that the that we have a numerator at the top whole of this forms the numerator whole of this forms the denominator in the numerator the we will do the multiplication okay which is three times negative four and in the denominator we'll be doing the exponential expression which is negative three to the second power so let's work with this remember mr pemdas is still there so we bring down ne the negative 30 and we say three times negative four which is negative 12 over 14 that negative stays here and we say negative three times negative three will which will give us nine and so we end up with that piece now because we end up with such piece we need to combine these values now so that becomes now negative 30 take away 12 which will give us negative 42 over 9 now 14 take away 9 which will give us 5. our solution cannot go any farther or if you express this as a mixed number then this becomes negative 8 over 2 fifth either of the answers will be correct unless if you are stated to state it state your solution as an improper fraction then this is the improper fraction and if you are told to say it as a mixed number then this is the mixed number okay so this is the one that we have been evaluating expression containing grouping symbols all right so with this in mind we'll take one little piece more on this evaluation we come back here and we start to work expressions containing absolute values uh, the challenge with absolute values is that you need to remember that we make it the negative but if it's negative if it's positive then just keep it as positive in keywords there is that the absolute value simply means make the solution positive that's in simple terms so let's say we have problems of the form um, and i tell you evaluate and this will close up this topic we have um, negative 3 open bracket 5 close bracket slant this is simply telling me that i want the absolute value okay i want the absolute value of the solution of negative 3 times 5 so let's keep our absolute value symbol okay and when we see inside of it we see that there's a bracket so we say negative 3 times 5 give us negative 50 now the next step will be as follows so the absolute value of negative 15 simply means simply means make this inside value positive which is then 15 and you finish right there okay this is with, with multiplication if you had an next example of addition negative 7 plus 5 absolute value so let me raise it there we have negative 7 plus 5 what's the solution well let's go inside of the absolute value we have negative 7 plus 5 that gives us negative 2 all right bring down the absolute value the absolute value has not been touched yet now we'll touch the absolute value which means i want the absolute value of negative 2 which is simply 2 and done with that problem there so the absolute value is not difficult you just need to know how to work with it let's go a few more examples with absolute value and see consider that i tell you now evaluate and it says seven minus three absolute value negative three minus four absolute value equals i want you to tell what's the solution to that this is not one this is not division this means absolute value is a vertical line upwards so we need to work whatever is inside of the absolute value symbol despite this is a multiplication we still need to work inside of the absolute value so bring down the 7 take away 3 absolute value negative 3 negative 4 this 2 will give us negative 7 close absolute value so now we have 7 take away 3 times absolute value negative 7 well what's the absolute value of negative 7 the absolute value of negative 7 is simply 7 so now we can use a bracket to differentiate it right 
So now we say 7 times minus negative 3 times 7. Well, worry with these two values first of all. So we have, have here 7, and we bring down the negative, and we say 3 times 7, 21 equals. So now we say 7 take away 21, which will give us negative 14. That's our solution. So let's see this problem again. Here we have um, an expression where we have the absolute value with another expression inside. So we must work with terms inside of the absolute value before we come outside. So we have negative 3 take away 4, which gives us negative 7. And then we'd say combine this negative 7, make this negative 7 the absolute value, which gives us positive 7. So now negative 3 times positive 7 will give us negative 21. So we have 7 take away 21, which is negative 14.